super expert advice needed. Hi there, I've been fascinated by the information on your website. I'm located in Buffalo, New York. In any case, we have an older pool that we inherited when my father-in-law passed away. Prior to his passing, he replaced the pool liner. So it's in good shape and is about four to five years old. We have upgraded the heater, filter, pump, attached hot tub, and a few other things. The issue we have is the gap in the channel, the liner track, under the coping where the liner won't stay locked in, it falls out. I've had a few companies come out, there hasn't been any easy fixes. Replacing the coping would require the concrete to be cut back, which is a major product project. Finally, a local pool place offered a suggestion to install front mount coping on the wall under the old plastic coping for about $1,400. That in itself is a reasonably priced job, but they would need to replace the liner again, which makes it quite expensive, adding the cost of the liner to that. Before we spend that much again, I would like to know about any other renovation options. What is it that you would do, or do you have any other suggestions? I was also intrigued by True Track and Tile. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, well, what happens is the way that the pool is built, it's either a steel wall or a polymer wall, or it could even be a wood wall. Who knows how old it is? But at the top of the wall, there's a track that's mounted that's screwed down to the top of the steel or whatever the pool was made out of. And you're absolutely right. To replace the coping, you would have to cut around and break that section out to be able to remove that coping. Um, what happens over time is the concrete deck is poured into that coping and that coping is sitting on top of the pool wall. And as your patio freeze thaw, you said you're in New York, so you're gonna have really similar freeze thaw situations as we do here, is that concrete as the ground underneath freezes and thaws, it rocks up and down just a little bit on uh, the edge of the pool. That, that pool becomes a pivot point. And what happens is you get fatigue right there where the, the liner track is. And you'll probably notice there's some spots that are a little wider than others. And again, you can try all kinds of things. I, the option of putting a face mount coping is a really good option. However, they're absolutely right. You can't just put that face mount coping on without replacing the liner. Here's what I would do. Sounds a little bit hokey, but it works. They make all these different types of wedges to be able to lock in there and push in there. But here's what I found. It's not the prettiest fix. But if you can pour hot water on that liner, enough to stretch it to get that bead back in, again, crazy idea, but it works. Use pennies. As that gap gets bigger between the, the coping and the liner, use more pennies. As it gets narrower, use less pennies. And what happens is that in some places, the gap, you might need three or four pennies stacked on top of each other. In other cases, one penny might be enough to hold it. And if you use any standard liner lock that's available, it's one thickness, and it really isn't going to do the job. And what I would recommend you do is get as many as and you can and tap them in with a hammer lightly. Uh, you don't want to be beating on it or wailing on it, but you really want to create a, a, a pressure between the coping and the liner itself. And as long as you do that, now, one of those little pennies aren't really noticeable. So it's not that unattractive. You'll know they're there. Uh, likely, that is going to be your cheapest and easiest solution. If your liner was any older, I would certainly say go the other route and get the face mount coping because that's a long-term solution. Uh, but until the liner, you know, if the liner, again, if it was older, it, it would need it anyway because it wouldn't be able to stretch. But if it's only four or five years old, you should be able to do this yourself if you'd like, if you're handy, or find a handyman to do it. But the easiest way is hot water. A lot of times when we do it professionally, we'll use a heat gun, a, a paint stripper heat gun, and it's blowing seven, 800 degree uh, air. The problem with it is, is you run the risk of heating the liner too much. But 
the nice thing about boiling hot water is when you pour it on there, you make that liner nice and elastic enough to be able to pop it and put it in. And you may need a screwdriver to help you, but again, you gotta be careful so that you don't cut the liner in any way possible. But that would be my kind of my secret solution if it were me. I've done it many, many hundreds of times over the years and, uh, and it works just fine. So um, hopefully that'll help you.